G'day guys, I'm in a Chuka again today. Well, when I say today, it's the same day as this morning when I caught a heap of silver perch and carp over in the Compaspe River. <laughs> it's the afternoon now. I've upsized in river. This is the Murray River in Moama. And if you pan around, you'll see, you probably won't see, but over in the distance there is the Echuca Moama Bridge. So I'm not far from that. I'm gonna chuck some Janjucks out there, hopefully catch something. Righto, there's a lot of water to cover here. I've only got fairly light sinkers on a running sinker rig, so I'm probably only gonna cast 10 or 15 meters in front of me here and let the bait just wash down into a position it's happy to sit in. Because the current here is going left to right, I'm gonna angle my casts on a bit of a 45 degree angle to minimize the amount they move before they settle. There we go. First nibble already, just as the Pevensey paddle steamer goes past. Little taps. Something is playing out there. Good signs, I haven't been here long at all. Got him. And it feels a fair bit bigger. Well, there's a bite on my other rod. Feels bigger than what I was catching this morning. Uh, I don't know why, because it's not, but it's a Murray Cod. That's a very different thing to what I was catching this morning. <laughs> oh, I wet my hands. Unhook him. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful little Murray Cod out of the Murray River. <laughs> He'd be about oh, 18, 20 centimetres. See you, buddy. He's coming back towards me. Look, there you go. He's got his. No, he's still sitting there. What are you doing, Dopey? <laughs> Look. <laughs> okay, he's found where he's going now. I better pay attention to this rod. I've been ignoring it to look after that cod, but I'm getting bites on this one as well. The fish are on in a chuka. It doesn't matter what river, apparently. Wow. Oh, I missed that one. Something tried to take it. <laughs> what a day of fishing I've had between the Compaspe this morning and now here. They're biting thick and fast. No big fish yet. I really don't care. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Whoop, 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 whoop. Having the same problem I had on the Compaspe. I, uh, having trouble keeping up with two rods. No. Oh. <laughs> It's quite possible there's shrimp on the baits as well with those little taps. But there's definitely fish bites in between, like that one was a bit stronger. Which rod do I go for? I'll just watch. <laughs> that was a good bite. That didn't look like a shrimp. This rod won. Um, that one will have to wait a minute. Another nibble here. They're keeping me busy. Whatever I'm dealing with out there is doing the same thing the fish over on the Compaspe were doing to me this morning. <laughs> Stripping all my worms. That's all right, I'm having loads of fun. And I'm not done catching yet. I've got a good feeling I'm gonna catch some more. If you watch my rod tip, you will see it very, very gently vibrating and pulling. That's what it looks like when you get a shrimp bite. That's a shrimp out there messing with my worms, not a fish. 
you can tell because the vibrations are so small and fast just like that and that's a shrimp flapping its tail around trying to work that worm off the hook so it can eat it very similar bites on the other rod there now just had to quickly change GoPro batteries but I've had some nibbles again that weren't shrimp pretty sure there's a fish out there playing with the worms on this rod Got a fish. <laughs> I was uh, snagged and I was about to snap my line and it came loose and there was still some weight. I thought, oh yeah, I've snapped the uh, stick or the branch off the snag. But no, this little bugger had the bait and he took me into the snags and I got him off again. Oh, that's the best silver I've caught all day. You ripper. I think he swallowed the hook though. He certainly has. Uh, there we go, I've broke my line, have a quick look and then we'll let him go. He's a ripper silver perch, about 24 centimetres, 25 maximum. A little bit of line still sticking out there, he'll dislodge that and the hook, there's a bit of blood, let's get him swimming. See ya bud, off he goes. Here ripper, two fish on the board for the Murray River. Whoa, that's not a shrimp. I only just threw the other bait back out in the water because it had been stolen. I'm getting some good bites here on the other rod. Oh, snagged again. It's going to have a fish on the end of it as well this time. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> oh, it's coming free though. Jesus, no, lost it. Yeah, he's on there. That's got to be the biggest fish of the day, surely. <laughs> it's not that much bigger than the others, I don't think. Goodness me. Look, I'll just leave the bells on. He'll be out of the water in a sec. It's another silver. Come on, mate. Yeah, get, get the mud off ya. There we go. Oh, just every time I try to set up one rod, the other one goes off. Uh oh, sinking. Oh, get out of the mud. Silver of the day again. Probably oh, 20, 26 or 27 maximum. Beautiful fish either way. And despite being near the eye, it's not in the eye, he should be fine. I'll just whip that out. There we go. One last look. Ripping little silver out of the Murray River. See you, buddy. You good? Yeah, he's fine. Off you go. <laughs> Very slowly. I can still see him out there. Love it. Awesome. Well, it's definitely a silver perch kind of day. Oh, not sure how I missed that one. <laughs> right in the middle of that sun patch. Beautiful. He's got the bait. I think he's got the bait. Pretty sure. Got him. How did I miss that? <laughs> that's what I get for being confident I said got him before I even struck <laughs> don't do that <laughs> well it might not have been as successful as my trip this morning to the Compaspe River but it was still successful and a lot of fun I caught a little Murray cod and two decent silver perch here in the Murray River in Moama if you enjoyed watching the video give me a thumbs up leave me a comment I'll see you next time